Hello and welcome to Hearts of Iron 4. We are playing Road to 56 mod here and we are playing as Portugal. So in the last episode we took over this portion of China in uh, Japan China war that's going on. Um, yeah, I've kind of come to the decision that we probably need more manpower. Um, so the decision to declare war or justify a goal War goal. Um, it was kind of a moot point, really. <clears throat> so, we're going to do that. It's only going to cost us 30 days. Um, I've got the troops, majority of the troops, anyway, out here already. Um, I'm going to get his troops who were defending Portugal, Spain area. Um, I'm going to get them coming out here, and then we won't declare war until they're actually in situ. It looks as if they're going to be there. So um, our garrison troops that were going to be defending the ports, I'm going to get them on the Yunnan border there, and then we're going to increase our air power out here because it's going to be necessary. Um, this guy here, he needs some fighters, so let's just give him a few. Just do it in small numbers of just 50 just to make sure that they can actually get onto an airfield when it's being built or when it's been taken over and We're gonna need some uh, more bombers um, Because we've got two areas there to contend with so we have got some medium bombers I think yes, not that many but some some's better than none uh, So let's go up to Hmm. Probably about 30. Let's keep it at legitimate numbers. That'll do for now. Um, we're going to have to tell him that he's going to be on these particular orders and they are going to be out there. Um, okay. Now with the Chinese forces actually facing Japan and the Chinese Empire as well, so they're going to have their hands full anyway, so all the divisions that China has got at the moment, 57 to 94, um, they're going to be struggling against the opposition in the north. So we're going to come from the south and hopefully take some more area. I'd like at least these areas just kind of here. Uh, okay, French join the Allies, that's fine. Um, yeah, primarily because it's, it's a manpower issue. Oh, hold on, Soviet Union declared war on Poland? What? It's 1939. What the hell is going on? Do they not know what year it is? Is that what's going on? Uh, let's get him out where we need him. And this is all our Portuguese troops slowly coming over. Okay, so Bulgaria and Yugoslavia, they're having a war against each other. And apparently Poland and the Soviet Union. Okay, that's just a bit strange. If you know what I mean. Uh, radar. Yes, please. I'm gonna need it, I think, to defend homeland territory. Yes, okay. Right, what have we got? We've got tanks on the way. We've got a battleship being uh, designed. Um, before building the um, battleships, I'll actually get that one going on because I'd like uh, the next level before committing any steel to a new ship. And maybe I should go down the carrier. Um, I've kind of mentioned that before in the last episode. Kind of get the carriers up. Um, and yeah, we need to make a decision now, don't we? So. Uh, I would also like a Spitfire, so let's go for that first. Air power is always predominantly um, necessary for what you want to do. That explains why I was building two sets of transports. No it doesn't, that's just an excuse. Don't believe a word I say. I don't. I'm always questioning what I say. 
Okay, so this guy is fairly happy with the orders despite half of his troops not actually being there. Well, a third of his troops, I should say. Well, that's because I can't count. Uh, right, has anybody got any traits? I wouldn't have thought so. We gave him an infantry expert on the last one. This guy hasn't been in combat for ages. And this guy hasn't been in combat at all. Um, but his troops are just going to sit there because it's kind of two tiles there that just need sorting out, covering. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, let's have a look. Oh, three to four to infantry battalions. Four to five in that one. Haven't got any intel on there because there's no troops there. Okay. So, we will see, yeah? Yeah. Okay, medium bombers are getting up to strength there. That's good, because we're going to need the legs on them, basically. Okay, just a justification for Fujian, which is where I declared there, has now been reached. So, 15th of May, 1939. So, we've still got a couple of months, which is good as well, because our troops are still arriving. Enter stage left. <clears throat> Nothing like being late to war, is it, eh? Come on, come on, get on those battlefields. And I think he will be going up to Yunnan anyway, so we haven't even got the troops for here yet. So we've still got plenty of time. And... Yes. As soon as we get the... Um, tanks being produced. I start producing tank uh, brigades, divisions. Mm. I think they're going to be the equivalent of a brigade to start off with. Because we might actually go all motorised actually on the um, tank front and in that will all the support arms that you normally give them like anti-tank and support artillery and I think might just actually just do the armoured versions of so just keep it all self propelled um, might actually do the anti-air as well so um, just have like a, well that's going to be one thing that we are going to need we're going to need maintenance divisions <coughs> along with everything else yeah okay it will come it will come so we just need to keep an eye on the time. So we've still got a month, well, six, five weeks. We have got three ports here, so we are fairly well sorted. How are we doing? Infrastructure. Oh, not that brilliant, actually. Let's get these improved now that we've got them. Uh, so that gets them all up to five at least. So do them in that order. Yeah, first level is going to take 31 days. So <coughs> so that level there at least will be a bit better. Now. Yeah, I think we'll keep him on aggressive orders. And why are some troops going there for? That's just silly. Oh, that's his. Okay. Okay, Munich Agreement. German demands for some Dayton territory in Czechoslovakia. Okay, we. They are playing the proper war game in that respect then. Would have thought the Portugal. the. Poland and Soviet war would have actually changed the emphasis of Sudetenland. You'd have thought the Czechoslovakians would have actually felt threatened by Russia and just gone, forget sedating man, just take us all. Oh, okay, loads of things going on here. The fall of Nanjing, okay. 
Yeah, just watch those Japanese, make sure they don't start raping everybody. And that was just part of the story. We've got officers that had been sent out to kill, have a kill ratio and get bonuses for it for so many Chinese killed per day. Yes, that's going to go down well, isn't it, with their local population. Forget hearts and minds, it's just destroy everybody. Yes. On the same basis that the Germans or the Nazis had with Untermenschen. I don't know why that's kind of all just come kind of this morning. I've no idea. Maybe it's because of the cup of coffee that I've had. Or not enough cups of coffee. I've no idea. Okay, our troops are getting in the line, basically, here. Finding their places on the world stage. Because their commander expects the best out of them. And yes, he does. And I expect the best out of him as well. Okay, so we will go now to our net. We've got the tank destroyer coming. Let's get the self-propelled gun coming. Uh, it says we have got decisions that we could do if we wanted to. I'm not going to because I'm going to save those points up for something that we probably need, a theorist, because we haven't had one of those. And we are still doing the full quota of time on our land doctrines which is not good I don't like that I want it less okay so have we got any more planes that we can put out there yes we have uh, we can put some more dive bombers and we can put some more fighters I think so let's do that let's increase those And for Army Bomb, we'll have 50 more on his. They will come to the front when it's required. Okay, I think you'll agree we are ready. So, let's declare war before Japan takes it all. Uh, because they have eaten into my battle lines already there, so... We are on super aggressive mode, so let's start the ball rolling and... Enjoy. No, da, 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 don't enjoy. I can't believe I just said that. Well, everybody's moving, which is a good sign. Okay, seeing Kiang has been called in as our enemy. That's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I want victory points here. I want to get there before the Japanese. Now they have taken Chongqing, so the capital now is Changsha. Um, so that's going to be a major victory point for us. Oh, and what a surprise! In fact, a faction. No, an aggression pact. Oh, Yugoslavia joins the common turn. Okay. Uh, no, no aggression pact from all these puppets of Japan. I don't think so. We're here to take territory and victory points. Poland has capitulated. Yes, that was going to be no surprise at all, really. Okay, now these factories that are coming are coming from the area that we're taking within China, so it's pointless actually dedicating them to anything, because they, in effect, until the peace treaty comes along, they don't exist to anybody, or not to us anyway. Uh, okay, so capital ships, let's get those going. Uh, we're still okay on the rubber, I think. Liberia joined the Allies. Okay. So if Yugoslavia joined the Comintern, that means that Russia is going to be super heavy in this um, particular battle, or this particular edition of World War Two. So it's not going to be normal at all. Ah, they've moved in there. Okay, so let's not do that. Well, there's British there as well. Are they volunteers? Maybe they are. Interesting. Okay, we have more volunteers. Ourselves to the cause. 
to the Greater Portugal Cause. We are here to take over the world and make lovely wine. Uh, are we? Some of them are. Okay, he's going for that territory, and so are we. Um, probably have you guys go that way, actually. Because they want to move in there. Let's keep those Japs out. That's our territory. Got airfield there, yes, but no aircraft on it. Let's go for the capital, please. I want that as a victory point. Okay. Well, it's probably just as well that they're putting somebody there because if we just walk straight into that, then that would have uh, probably ended China immediately. Uh, yeah, let's actually hold off on that. Can we send our guys on a merry trip all the way round, maybe? Like to get them to do some uh, more victory points, really. And there's two here that we could actually go for. We've got him moving on there. Let's get him moving there. We can follow up. And to be fair, I can't see any more on them. Hmm. Yunnan, for some reason, has not joined the war. I don't know why. <coughs> Maybe they are reluctant on seeing how well Portugal does, because that's all the territory that we've taken, because China is dedicated their forces elsewhere. And the only reason I kind of just decided to do this was, as I said, just it's a manpower issue. If I can get more states within China, that means I can get more manpower. I mean, I'm not going to get all of this, not in a peace deal. Ah, uh, We've only got 11%, so... And China is ready for capitulation. Okay. So where have they moved their capital to now? Because... We appear to have just overwhelmed it. Maybe it's a state by state thing now. Okay, maybe. Fair enough. Uh, no, over the river there. Um. Yeah, I mean, if we can take Fuz out, I would like that. It's another victory point. I'd rather not just have everybody just standing around here, though. Uh, send them into the midst of China there, maybe. I don't know. Uh, let's have a look. What have we got? Have we got another tank? Um, what we can do? We can do... Anti-aircraft has never been kind of my thing to do on these, but... I don't know. Yeah. Let's go fully self propelled with our armoured divisions. And presumably we can start producing tanks now. We can. Well, we will do once we get some factories that are actually ours. So I will dedicate all of those at the moment. Let's get rid of the notification for the battleship because we don't really want that one. We want the next one along. Uh, and only for the reason just to protect our carriers. And what are we going to do with the carriers? Hmm. Deploy them. 
with aircraft. Awesome aircraft. We will be the Portuguese man of war. Yes, we will become a jellyfish. Ah, another tech slot. For those that were paying attention, we have a tech slot. For me, I wasn't paying attention, so we have a tech slot. Uh, okay, so factory output versus computing machine. Well, it's got to be factory output at the moment. Um, and then when we get to 1940, I think I'll do the research on the computing machine. So China doesn't exist there at all at the moment. So what's going on? Oh, this is this just a reluctant computer that's deciding? I don't know how to play now. Okay, so what are our orders of kind of just? Diminished into nothing. Ah, so that's become Yunnan. Right. Fair enough. So transfer of ownership basically has gone to Yunnan. And at, the, at this point in time, they could actually just waltz straight in. <clears throat> so I think we better dedicate some troops onto this border. Uh, let's have these over there as well and we'll give him an order to do that but we'll try and take see we've actually got 66% of the war effort at the moment because they've transferred so their details over to Yunnan. So if we push for all of that, kind of, right, I think we can actually get rid of that line now. That's all Japanese troops there, so let's readjust that. Uh, we could actually get them to go over to him. That's going to need a lot of sorting out afterwards. It's fine, it's fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine on the night. We have another tech slot. So... That's going to be a bit far to get the Sherman, so... Uh, land Doctrine we're still doing... Ah, that's the point. Land Doctrine we are still doing, so... So, Infantry Weapons or Spitfire. Spitfire. Because we've only got Hurricanes out there at the moment. Our Infantry is doing well with the equipment that they've got. And let's face it, they would need thousands of those infantry weapons to make a difference, whereas our Spitfires can get the job done quicker, basically. Um, yes, so we're after military theorists now, so let's go for one of them. How are we doing on time? We're doing well. So, you push in. You keep those at, uh, occupied. Uh, let's have you guys push in that way. They're moving over there. That's good. It's good. It's good. Can have them move in there. Take that one. Right. Don't know where you're going, matey. Uh, you probably need to come back here just to keep these occupied. Because that is a little front line. I'll put you on it. Right, let's get them moving up that way. 
and then they can move there. Uh, let's get them moving up there, because that'll be a charge going all the way along that side, and that will be kind of how we want to start the charge. Charge! Yeah, we kind of need to... If the overall war score from the previous war and this one is put together, uh, that might not be the correct score. <coughs> but I'm accepting it how it is at the moment, because I, I accept kind of little things like that. It's a nice little bonus for us. Oh, it's one of our troops. Well, he can join us out here, I think. And I think all the way across the line, because these guys have got no organisation whatsoever, I think we can start pushing in all sorts of places. Uh, I think probably you guys need to do that. And then one of you guys move up there. You get rid of him. You can get rid of him. Yeah, there seems to be a lot of troops there, to be fair. <coughs> and I have these. Move over. Dislodge those. Reduce that front. Because this is now a land grab. Okay, again, move in. Uh, I'd rather if you did this. It's all this territory here. The Japanese are just failing to fall upon, basically. Um, <clears throat> let's have you move in. I don't know whether that's going to be a victory point there or not, but I think we can get rid of some of these lines now. That's not necessary. That won't be necessary in a minute. through let's have you guys move in like that you can move in behind the river and that's it if we just keep this as it is at the moment we can take all of that hopefully Knows where he's going. Good. Ah, Japanese have just decided to try and sneak in there. Let's try and see if we can get round that and take that for ourselves. We have another tech slot in between times, though. So, okay. Let's do that. Let's move in. You're moving in there, that's good. I'd like if you moved in there, please. I think you can take him. Bearing in mind, this is kind of either um, Mozambique or Angolan forces which are taking over this territory. Bit of an irony there, one puppet against another. <coughs> However, he can be chased all the way back. Let's see if we can beat this Japanese guy. Let's move in. 
move in. Seventy three per cent war score, so hopefully that we can retain that. Hopefully. Okay, we have another tech slot, so let's get that uh, computing machine going. Now I can't get to that, so that's the last one there. So let's remove all of these. can't do anything with that now and that's not going to be influential on what we're doing so keeping hold of the capital over here was a pretty good idea let's just make sure that everybody else is ready and I think with what we've actually got over here, we can actually just take the capital and that should be it. Should, he says. Famous last words. Another trooper to join our lovely effort of establishing ourselves from Macau into the rest of China. <coughs> Okay, so we're going slightly over on time here. Only to get rid of this front here, really. Now, this is tricky territory that we're actually moving through here. So, well, I say that, but these are just moving like ants. So, oh, okay, they've moved to Dali. So, Dali it is. Let's go. Let's move you straight around him if he's been confronted by them. Capture ship effort, so that gives us uh, research bonuses on capture ships. So let's start reducing these pockets. Actually, no, let's take that one. And we'll have them. Okay, straight through. Fair enough. I would have liked you to gone round, to be fair, but okay. So that's another... Okay, there's all of them, basically, in it. So that's self-propelled tank destroyer and anti-air okay let's get three on each and we can't afford them at the moment uh, let's reduce that because that's only going to be for infantry now so there we go and another tech slot. So let's go for our second version of the battleship. That's better. That's better because it's only 1936 version. Previous version was a dreadnought, basically. Okay, Yunnan has capitulated, so that should be it. Peace screen, if you don't mind. I think you find that we're not at war with anybody now. We are, Xinjiang. Okay, we can't do anything about that. Uh, uh, yeah, we can't do anything about that. The Japanese are going to have to defeat them basically okay that could take ages 
or could it? They've only got six to nine divisions there, and they're sixteen percent towards computation. So, so a lot. Let's see if they can do it. We can't do a lot. We are. We have exhausted our. Trouble is, they get then war score for doing that. <coughs> so it's twenty percent now. This is definitely going to be an extended edition. I do apologize. Hopefully the Japanese know what they're doing. Get to the capital. So it's only 21% so far, so... Are they dawdling? No, they've ran into kind of the remainder of the troops up there. I'm not saying that we've got other things to do, but we've got other things to do. So let's get rid of our. Whoops. That would be seriously annoying. Oh, it's his. That's why I can't click on it. It's his. Uh, okay, so let's change these out because these are in the wrong division. Right, he hasn't got any, so. Okay, that Tanatuvu. And might keep this guy actually out here. Uh, this particular guy, and then use this guy to go back defend Portugal. While we're waiting, let's get him maybe doing that. He can make his way back home. And in the meantime, the Japanese can be getting on and actually doing their Ambitious moves? They're only 27%. Grief. Seriously. Okay, Ireland joined the Allies. What? It is the 3rd of September, 1939. Now, if you know the dates, you know that that is significant. However, we have no Poland. So, what can Germany invade? Yes? Okay, prepare to invade Poland. Well, Poland doesn't exist, so how are they going to invade that? That is very strange, and that is a serious, strange flag. Okay. So what's Italy doing? In? Their focus is on naval. Okay. We still have the war going on between Bulgaria and Yugoslavia, and to be honest, well, okay, that's okay. That is the Soviet Union. Fair enough. So they've come in from behind them, basically. So Bulgarians were doing well there, and then now they're not because their own territory is gone. I can't believe that we're waiting here for the Japanese to finish their battle. This is because the capital's moved. Okay. Okay, we're nearly there. Seventy-eight percent. Thank goodness for that. Come on, Sien Kang. Just do the honourable thing. You've got four to eight divisions. Legionnaires, Bulgaria has capitulated. That's another strange event in the world, then. So, okay. So that's our battleship sorted um get 1941 and then start on the carriers maybe i mean i can't go for too many capital ships at a time but i would like a battleship i'd like a decent one can i have the red one please 
Can do this one in blue. No, we're not going to sign a non-aggression pact. Why would you be asking at this stage, Japan? Seriously. Come on, 84%. Get your asses in gear. Move on. Carrier effort. Finally. Okay, so we can actually do something different now. Um, so do we carry on for the... That's carrier models. Well, we don't need those bonuses, not yet. Um... Yeah, to actually improve our bombers and naval aircraft would be helpful if we're going to get carriers. So let's go for that. And if you are patiently waiting for a capitulation of Xiang Gang, please bear with us. We have technical difficulties on our Japanese side. Now this is just a Pac-Man effort here, just to get rid of the states. Okay, what the hell? And that looks like a bloody bandage. <coughs> Come on, Sien Kiang. 87%. Have another Mozambique division. So where do we want these? Do we want these out in China? Maybe yes. Get a garrison force up there of ten divisions, something like that, just to keep the coastline. Hey, we get we able to keep hold of that? Maybe. April, we will find out within the peace screen. Ninety. Well, it's actually gone down there. It was ninety-one. Went down to ninety. Is it back up to ninety-one? Well, hey. Come on, come on, come on. Now, I'm not too sure how we ended up with that territory there, but that's cool. No, we don't want any non-aggression packs. Go away. I said so we've come down to 53% now. Seriously. Free dockyards at this point? Oh, we must be building them. <coughs> okay. Battleship 2 then. Or did we go for another one? Did we? Mm, I can't remember now. I don't really want to be building a battleship. That's 2. That's battleship 2. What? There's something screwy going on there. We're building two, right? Class de Maria, two, right? Okay. We're, we're actually researching it, right? On our production, it's got battleship to... Ah, oh, no, 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 I'm reading it wrong. I do apologise. I'm thick. I'm going to get rid of that. Let's do that, then. That'll save me confusion. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Thank goodness for that. Right, okay. Well, we did get a higher war score than Japan, so that is a good sign. <clears throat> now, I want... I want people. Yeah, we're not going to be a take all states. That's just not going to happen. Um, I kind of want this. I can't believe that I can't go all the way over. Can I do that? No. Damn it. See, Japan are just going to come in and just take all the good stuff, aren't they? Okay, well, we stopped their little game going along the coast because they're forever doing that little basket cases. Um. Now, do we ruin their day and go up to the Raj border? <laughs> we could do. Um, but again, I really want people as well as resources here. No, we can't do that anyway. Do we do any of these? 
And we can do that one. Um, I can't remember which ones I've done. Okay, so let's end our turn. That's a bit more. So if we do this, this reduces Japan's capacity to fight. Yes, she'll still have all of these puppets. But we could actually safeguard the Raj here. I thought there was another one around here I could do. No, okay. Let's do that then. Right, we might need to pass. Okay, no we don't. That would be a good one to go for. Okay, so let's end turn. Um, can we get that one? Yes. Not that one. Though. Not that one. It's going to be way too much that one. Can't do any of them, so I'm gonna have to pass on that. 180 then. Can't do any of these. Do that one. So we've got more war score on us now. Swines. Can't even do that. Uh, so let's pass again. Sichuan, I really want kind of a border that's contiguous. Don't know how far we can actually go. No, they've took that. Damn it. Oh well. That is a strange. China but we got more states and that's the main thing so yes that's better we've now got a recruitable population that's over a thousand so that is a lot better so Portugal well welcome to Portugal and we denied the Japanese ha 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 okay right well we might as well carry on for the full hour now um because here we are in the midst of it. We do have factories that we can now use, which is good. Um, okay, they are damaged, so let's get them built up, I suppose, first. Um, yeah, we'll convert the old fighters, and wow, that's a lot of basic infantry conversion. Do we do that? Do we need that? I think we'll stay. We'll we'll leave off that conversion. To be fair, uh, right? Okay. So if we said we're going to keep him here. So let's get him garrisoning the coast. And don't forget Macau. Okay, that will do for now. That's just the amount of divisions he's got. So let's move him out to a different theater. They should all be moving back. They are. Okay, and now we've got to decide for our main troops. What are we going to do with these? Where are we going to put them? I think a European war is going to be on the boards. So we're gonna put them here to start off with not that I'm actually aiming against France because okay they're democratic I'm so yeah I'm surprised at this stage they haven't actually gone common term 
Um, let's get a tank division built up while we can. So let's duplicate that one. Call it that armored. And let's give it some tanks. Medium tanks, low bar infantry. Gets its speed up. Um, self propelled. Tank destroyer and anti air. Okay, so now we need medium tanks and our organization up. So, what's our organization? Only 23, but. Okay, that's 20. That's actually 20 right now. For our organization, kind of sucks. Hmm. Do you know, I'm going to keep it like that for now, but we are going to be changing that. We're going to have to. <coughs> organization needs to be over 30. Generally, anyway. And let's get some built up. Have we got any uh, spare at the moment? Well, we have. So. Oops. Why did you do another one when that really was. I'm sure I already set the location. One infantry. One armoured, and then we'll have a mix between armoured and infantry divisions out there. Okay. We will need mechanised now. So, after the Spitfire is done, that's still a way off. To be fair, we got any things that we can do on mechanized? That support artillery. That's recon. That's paratroopers. Ooh, paratroopers would be nice. Oh, armor tech. Now we've got nothing for mechanized. Damn it. Okay. Um, Wow, so we go from a Spitfire up to a Fokker Wolf. Okay, <laughs> that's a bit strange. Uh, seriously, and then we could have a P-38. What? We are just a mix of everything. Sawfishes, albacores. Wow, okay. Uh, but yeah, where do we want to be next? We really, well, we still got one on industry working. We've got one on electronics working. So let's come back to our. I mean, do we go the full hog here and actually have an amazing army with motorized rocket artillery? I think it's got to be done. It's going to be a while before we get that anyway, so let's get motorized rocket artillery going. Uh, we're going to have the manpower for it, but we're going to need to actually just make sure that we do keep on the ball with where our army needs to be and where it, what it needs to do. So, oil. We do need to work on our trade. We're okay on the aluminium at the moment, so let's just tell about one. No. Nope. That, that kept on doing that on the previous episodes. I'm seriously annoyed about that. Because it just makes me look an idiot. I can do that on my own. I don't need the computer to help me. Okay, uh, let's just increase rubber. Who do we want it from? Let's go from Siam. Let's get it from there. Here we have a dockyard, so how far off are we on oh, 35 days until our battleship, so I really want to produce that one. 
So let's put our dockyard at the moment on convoys. Our fleet is slowly increasing, but it's primarily destroyers. And where's our other? Portugal Fleet 1. Yeah, let's get that repairing as well. Okay, available planes in. So we could do with naval bombers everywhere, really. There, there. We've got them working off there already. Ah, now that's ah. So he's now completely all infantry now. Uh, right, so let's go for construction because I'm sure our construction efforts are still way. Yeah. Is that all of them? Oh, that's all of them now. Okay, fair enough. I would like, while we're thinking about construction, I would like radar. So. On the coast, maybe, near a port. So that one, if we built it up, would be better. There. There. And probably there. And then we can build them up. Uh, so if we get rid of those. And then we'll have our radar coming up next. Okay. Thinking of construction as well. How are we doing out in China? Because these areas are usually quite poor, and they are. So let's make them better in time and hopefully we can get some more resources out of them uh, that one and that one I think that will do so everything is then five Keep our employment rate up with workers going out into the field everywhere. Now, what do we need? We mm, we'll probably benefit from material designer probably on the next. Don't think we're going to need any of those. Social order, I think that's that's fine at the moment for those. We could have captain of industry out there, I suppose. We're going to have to decide because our political level here is going down from non-aligned or sorry authoritarian to it's going to become fascist. So we need to make that transition fairly quick. I don't want any civil wars going on uh, but however uh, infantry designer motorized we could get research time on that down that would give us better mechanized artillery also is something that we are lacking we've got all of that whereas mechanized only goes oh no it doesn't Why do you say that? Yeah, probably infantry weapons. Yeah, okay, material design is kind of the way to go on that then, isn't it? On the infantry equipment. I forgot we were in road, 50, road to 56, so... Uh, okay, so our troops are out there. Oh, Germany occupies Western Poland, so the agreement between the Soviet Union and the Nazis has been fulfilled. What the hell is going on there, then? That's just weird. 
Okay, that's a puppet state then. Obviously, yes. Right, another dark yard, because we are building them up. So, more convoys at the moment, please. Okay, so let's just pause it there. It is the 26th of November, 1939. Our war in China is over. We have taken more states. We're getting more people in. We have more factories. Um, yes, we've caused a lot of <laughs> world tension. 52% eek. Oh dear. Uh, so yes, being aggressive has had its cost. However... We'll see what we can do in the next episodes, um, actually influencing the European wars now. Uh, because our taking territory there will influence the Asian campaign. Um, I think the Japanese will find it hard to actually get through to Indochina now. And there's no way that they're going to be able to do an invasion into the Raj, because we're there. So they will have to do this area here and here or they will have to attack the Soviet Union so we've kind of forced the issue there that was what the emphasis of this campaign was just to make a different result um, so we'll see what happens there um, so hope you like this one hope you can join me for the next one like comment subscribe and I will see you next time see you later bye